It's a school day at Fourth Baptist Christian School in Plymouth, but there's something missing. We have been able, by the grace of God, to be open for nine weeks. So we've had nine weeks of in-person school. Until last week. Where we had a couple of people who had tested positive for COVID, had been around um, some larger of our numbers of students, and we just made a decision, you know what, because of the, the potential spread, uh, we, we just need to shut down for a couple weeks. But this didn't really catch Fourth Baptist off guard. It was something they had been anticipating and preparing for all summer. Now, we had already prepared schedules, uh, the alternative program, all the computer stuff has been prepared all summer long and into the school year, so that was all set to go. Fourth Baptist decided that in-person learning was optimal to begin the school year, and they had well thought out protocols in place. Including one-way flow of traffic like you're at the grocery store and uh, extra cleaning protocols. Like periodic disinfecting of all surfaces. Using this airless, handheld, battery-operated disinfectant sprayer. And you let it sit for 10 minutes. They installed these nanoseptic self-cleaning surface touch pads on all door pulls and pushes. The pads trap and keep organic contaminants and then destroy bacteria by oxidation. Probably the toughest one was to say that everyone uh, first grade and above had to wear a mask. Part of their planning was taking into account how to carry on education if they had to go entirely virtual. We also came up with a classroom setup for each classroom. The cameras and computers, donated in large part by families, were set up over the summer and staff was trained in on how to use the technology. We tried to cover every option to continue the process of education. Fourth Baptist had a solid plan in place at the beginning of the school year to cover any eventuality. Hodak credits the parents' communication with the school in helping the seamless transition to temporary virtual learning. You've got people that want and choose this school and they're they're paying for it and so they recognize the value of it and they're they're much more responsive and committed to what you're trying to accomplish. Fourth Baptist hopes to resume in-person school on the 16th in Plymouth Neil Persley CCX News. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.